What going on everybody? Welcome back. You don't know it's your boy Kamani Brown and today we're going to be speaking about storage and their iPhone. Now everybody or at least most people have taken some form of advantage of Apple's iCloud. However, it has its limits. It maxes out at about 2 terabytes and of course you're dependent on Apple for pretty much keeping their stuff online. That's where these come in. Your traditional external drive your usb drive and this is an external ssd which can also come in a form factor of an nvme which would be smaller same principle now the point of this video is to show how using one of these you're able to back up on these traditional drives with your iphone pretty easily and simply now this is a lightning to usb 3.0 and this lightning port is just strictly for power for this and this so let's just jump straight into it and show you how it works all right so first up is this the usb flash drive which most people have somewhere about the house you just simply plug it into here plug it into this copying a simple image here happy new year peeps I'm going to files here it is, the flash drive shows up right here, press that and simply paste, right, so it's there, it's right there, you can copy, paste, you can read existing files that are already there, whether it's videos, I mean this is stuff from a PS5, I'm not sure if any videos are on it, but actually here we go, y'all know this. and there we have it works just like any other flash drive would on your pc your mac or whatever so now we're moving on to this the ssd and you'll see why this port here is important no need to really and truly eject this thing all you need to do is just plug it out now moving on to this now so usb-c port same principle there you go, going back into the files app, as you can see it doesn't show up, why? It does have power, but does it have enough power? No it does not. So that's where this comes to give it the juice. Use a regular lightning cable that comes with your phone, of course you plug it into a power adapter or a battery pack, whichever one you have that's on hand, give it a moment, and there you go, shows up. U Green, that's the name of the <laughs> drive here. But as you can see, it's reading it. You can see it's flashed by the flashing light. And there you go. Don't need to go back into the same drive. I mean, here you have pictures, YouTube thumbnails. This is an old one that I had worked on some time ago. You know, regular read. You can paste the image here. Happy New Year again, peeps. And there you have it read write back up all your stuff here right there is no storage limits from what i know so far the flash drives are 64 gigabytes this is a one terabyte ssd and just so you know that there's no funny business let's just plug it out there you have it it's a samsung ssd but this is a 2.5 inch form factor the nvme works just the same now the issue is with this one now is that it requires too much power so no matter what it will not do anything else aside from allow you to read from it but just so you guys can see what i'm talking about so you can know for yourselves it's plugged in that's the juice it takes a moment to come up as you can see the light is flashing there now comes up as untitled you go in what's this that's right, read only. Can't do anything else. Yeah, it's actually much slower as well. Much slower to read. There you go. Hey everyone, it's me, Kamani, talking PlayStation. Yeah. There's a reason you guys never saw this video. <laughs> and it will re remain hidden and unseen. Yeah, peeps, you can't do anything else besides read. 
I guess it just requires too much power, but who really and truly uses these nowadays anyway? <laughs> so yeah, let's plug that out. Now, if anybody knows how to get one of these to work, you can let me know in the comments below. But as for now, everyone has one of these laying around. And nowadays, almost everyone has an SSD somewhere about the place. So that's it. For 15 bucks, right here, you can grab one of these. Apple has their own in-house OEM version, which costs close to 40 bucks. It fluctuates between 36 to about 39 bucks, whatever. That's too much money. This is worth a shot. It works flawlessly, it works perfectly. And it not only works for storage devices, I have shown you guys in the previous videos that this also works with you know USB microphones and can also work with your camera and other USB devices. Very versatile. And for 15 bucks, this is a no-brainer. So check the link in the description below to see how you can grab one of these for yourselves. Whether you want to upgrade your storage back up your stuff offline or upgrade your sound with the videos as i am doing right here so yet again thanks for tuning in you don't all appreciate a like subscribe and of course hitting that little notification bell so you know when the next video is out see you guys in the next one peace and take care